floor. Hoo, yeah. Ah, I can't help but sing along. <clears throat> For 50 years, Edwin Starr's fiery song has been urging us to give up bloodshed, asking the only question, war, what is it good for? Nothing, Edwin. Art has been going side by side with humanity for a long time, but it's not able to protect us from conflicts. John Lennon and his Imagine can confirm. And although we are now living in the most peaceful time in history, imagine that, people persistently continue the gun measuring contest. There's been either Big Bertha, or the Tsar Bomb, or the Triple Whopper, one of the most horrific weapons of mass destruction. All in all, just give mankind a reason and we're already furiously developing new ways to divide each other by zero. Today we'll talk about how the ancient Greeks invented the laser, how the invisible tank and other fantastic technologies have already been adopted, and how nanorobots, exoskeletons, and other incredible devices will be used in the war of the future. Oh, yeah, and cyborg insects. What the hell are you? Welcome to the Brain Frame Channel, Private. We're starting. Hut, 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 hut. Remember how boring history lessons were at school? This year we signed a decree, that year we adopted a declaration, signed a truce, paper, 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 blah, blah, blah. With us, it's different. With a sharp sword of knowledge, we opened the fruit of military history and chose the very pulp for you. Don't get yourself smeared. Before we rush to study the technologies of the future like a curious monkey, it's worth recalling what inventive and unusual ways the warriors of the past used. Yep, it was not our generation that came up with the idea of using gadgets for military purposes. <laughs> The Aztecs were good not only in blood sacrifices, but also in naming. Their at Lottel was the ancestor of the bow and looked like this, a short stick with a loop at one end and a recess at the other. The warrior placed the shaft of a spear in the hollow and, holding onto the loop, threw it in an arc. Thanks to the centrifugal force, the spear flew very far and hit very painfully. Although at Lottel appeared 12,000 years ago, the Spanish colonists had time to feel all the joy of communicating with the natives when hundreds of spears pierced their armor. Talk about negotiations. Okay, now let's look at something really unusual. Or rather, someone. Ladies and gentlemen, Archimedes! This ancient Greek guy is worth thanking for a lot of inventions that are used to this day screws, connecting pulleys, a system of levers. But the old man was very fond of his native city of Syracuse and was happy to help protect it from the Romans by inventing a completely fantastic weapon. Don't believe it? What do you say about real death ray? That old man was tougher than Darth Vader. While the invading ships were stationed near the city, Archimedes constructed a system of convex mirrors that were combined into a single frame and rotated by means of hinges, changing the angles of rotation. In this way, the scientists' assistants caught the light of the sun and directed concentrated hot rays that burned enemy ships. Or didn't. There's no exact confirmation and there's no one to ask. There are no veterans of those wars with us today. However, there is a version that mirrors blinded ship archers, but it's not as cool as a death ray, right? And what incredible military gadgets of antiquity do you know about? Maybe we should dedicate a separate video to them, right in the comments. Before proceeding to the main dish of our field cuisine, it's worth noting that the main centers of development and application of new technologies and weapons are now Europe, the United States, China, and Israel. It's interesting that even if you add up the military budget of Israel with a modest $22 billion, the whole of Europe with its $200 billion, and even the most powerful China with $180 billion, no one will be able to surpass the monstrous investments of the United States. The abode of democracy allocates $649 billion for weaponry. Nevertheless, almost everyone is engaged in the development of new types of weapons. After all, how else can peace and happiness be spread? And we'll start with the most obvious modern weapon, drones. At some point, people came to the conclusion that dying is not actually fun, but it is still necessary to fight. Therefore, as soon as the technology allowed to control military equipment at a distance, no one refused. 
Moreover, the development of drones is going by leaps and bounds. And now Sweden has a tank that does not need a driver. But we won't show it to you. Because it's also invisible! The CV90120T Ghost, or simply T Ghost, is the latest version of the CV90120T medium tank developed from the Combat Vehicle 90 CV90, Infantry Fighting Vehicle Corps. The T Ghost is equipped with a new compact gun and BAE systems camouflage technology called Adaptive, which is so effective that it makes the tank invisible to hostile thermal imaging systems, which is why it was nicknamed Ghost. It's terrible to imagine what an invisible, unmanned tank can do in the enemy's camp. But there are things even worse. For example, an electromagnetic railgun is a familiar toy for video game fans. Railguns use bursts of electromagnetic energy to push solid projectiles along the rail at high speeds and over long distances, without using gunpowder or chemical propellants. The prototype railgun of the United States Navy is designed to push projectiles at a speed six or seven times the speed of sound. The range of the shot reaches 100 nautical miles, which is much higher than the range of modern, ordinary guns, which shoot at a distance of up to 13 nautical miles. From big guns, let's move on to something smaller, but no less deadly. We're talking about self-guided bullets. Did you think this is only possible in movies and video games? Experts from DARPA are ready to argue with you. Their .50 caliber Exacto Smart ammunition has built-in computer guidance systems that control small edges on the bullet's surface, allowing it to adjust its course during flight to take environmental factors into account. Such technologies can turn even an unskilled marksman into a deadly, accurate sniper. And how do you get away from projectiles that find people better than John Wick? On a jetpack, of course. A British inventor with a dangerous name, Richard Browning, has been creating and promoting flying suits modestly named Daedalus Mark I since 2016. Richard's suit differs from other jetpacks in that his jet engines are attached to his arms and legs. This way, you can easily control the direction and speed of the flight. Yes, just like Iron Man. Actually, this is exactly what Richard is called in the media. Real-life Iron Man. In 2019, the Flying Britain flew around the HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier, demonstrating its technology to military guests. And this means only one thing. The military is interested in actively looking for use of Richard's suit. A whole armada of Iron Men carrying democracy straight from the sky. Sounds like a dream, right, Donald? God bless you, and God bless America. So we can fly, hide, and hit the target. What else does a modern soldier need? Carry weights. After all, there's nothing better than physical exercise in the fresh desert air. The Lockheed Martin Military Industrial Corporation presents the Human Universal Load Carrier, a mechanical exoskeleton for soldiers that can be worn in the field. The device consists of a pair of mechanized titanium leg braces that allow owners to carry up to 90 kilograms for a virtually unlimited period of time without getting tired. The onboard computer monitors movements and load levels, and supports frame movements synchronously with the user. The Lockheed Martin project, of course, does not make robots out of people. But the DARPA High Memes project does, and thank God not from people. High Memes stands for Hybrid Insect Microelectrical Mechanical System, rather than memes about marijuana, as you might have guessed. Insects are taken in the pupil stage and electrical circuits are implanted in their bodies. When the beetles take adult forms, signals transmitted over radio waves trigger these circuits, making the insects remotely controlled. By attaching surveillance equipment, these bugs can explore the battlefield, any place, in fact, completely unnoticed. Hashtag seen it in Black Mirror. By the way, press like if you're a fan of the series. And if you're not, you can still press like on this video so we can forgive you. All these technologies seem fantastic, but they are already one step away from being used by the real armies of the world. But what awaits the military industry in the future is scary to even imagine. But we did.
No matter how terrible homing bullets, jetpacks, or invisible tanks are, the main threat in the war of the future will not be seen, smelled, or heard. When faced with biological weapons, it's only necessary to accept the inevitable. Anthrax has been one of the most dangerous diseases since ancient times. The invasions of this disease were described in the Bible as one of the Egyptian executions. And in Europe, where the disease claimed a huge number of lives in 1600, it was called blackbane. Nowadays, the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, classifies anthrax as a Category A biological agent that poses a significant risk to the global community. If someone spread 50 kilograms of spores in a city of 500,000 people, 120,000 would be infected and 95,000 would die. Now imagine that these spores are brought to a city by a microdrone no larger than a dragonfly. What about a hundred of them? A thousand? A million? Such drones are already being used by the US Army. The PD-100 Black Hornet is a tiny drone developed by the Norwegian company Prox Dynamics. This remote-controlled device allows soldiers to spy on potential threats and provides access to remote locations. However, although very small, such a helicopter is still easy to notice. But no one will pay attention to the bird. And for good reason. Developed under the guidance of DARPA, the drone looks like a hummingbird, flies like a hummingbird, and is actually called the Hummingbird Nano Air Vehicle. The bird weighs only 19 grams and can fly in conditions that are inaccessible to people and other equipment. Its wings rotate and move at any angle in accordance with the instructions of the control team. Would you like to notice a bird in your garden that looks at you through the lens of a built-in video camera? Since drones, unlike cyborg insects, can be equipped with artificial intelligence over time, their capabilities become even more frightening. You don't like being followed, do you? Nobody likes, well, except for Instabloggers and TikTokers. Neurala Company has developed Neurala Brain, a software program that helps drones recognize and identify predefined targets in a crowd and then alert a human operator. Neurala claims that its software can pass through a crowd to find and identify people of interest. So you can no longer hide from the worldly bustle by turning off your smartphone. Gotta hide in the basement. From smart drones, let's move on to another type of weapon that doesn't look very intimidating, but in the future will be no less dangerous than a nuclear bomb. We're talking about hackers. North Korea, which is famous for its stormy diplomatic relations with the United States, is actively involved in cyber warfare. According to the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security, the Koreans are linked to a successful and extremely dangerous hacker organization codenamed Hidden Cobra, also known as the Lazarus Group. They are responsible for the hacking of Sony Pictures in 2014 and the Bangladesh Bank in 2016. Three years ago, the U.S. Credit History Bureau, Equifax, reported that hackers stole the personal information of 147.7 million Americans from their servers. Customer names, social security numbers, dates of birth and addresses, affecting more than half of the U.S. population. In 2015, a hacker attack by Black Energy cut off electricity in 700,000 homes in Ukraine. By the way, not only hackers can send people to the Stone Age. An electromagnetic bomb, or E-bomb, is a weapon that uses an electromagnetic field to create a short pulse of energy that affects electronics without harming people or buildings. A low-level pulse temporarily shuts down electronic systems. Medium-level pulses damage computer data. Very high levels destroy electronics, completely disabling any equipment that uses electricity computers, smartphones, and even ignition systems in cars. Just one short flash and you're already roasting a rat on a stick while the children are learning to shoot a bow. So we rode an invisible tank, flew into the sky on a jetpack, hid from homing bullets, straddled a mosquito, studied a terrible virus, hacked the Pentagon, and even recalled Archimedes. We have looked at the war from different angles and looked into the future. And it does not bode well. Military technologies enable us to protect ourselves from threats and feel safe in the warmth of our homes. But it's already obvious that humanity is walking on thin ice, enthusiastically developing more and more advanced machines of destruction. We at BrainFrame fully support only science, research, and cognition, because we believe that technology is a stick with two ends, and we would like this stick to be a lever of progress and not a weapon in the hands of a Neanderthal. Especially since many things that we can't imagine our life without were invented just for the military. Computers, the internet, Wi-Fi, discs… but we'll talk about it some other time. 
Write in the comments what topics we missed and what you would like to learn more about. Better yet, just make love, not war. See you in the new videos. And yes, you can subscribe so that you don't miss them. Peace. Did you see that?